Hey, this is Eric Johnson, the brand. And Aaron Thigpen, the source. And welcome to our podcast today. We're going to talk about a a uh, tool, a, I should say velocity. Velocity is the key word for us, Aaron, and how it applies to many aspects of baseball. And this happens to be talking about one of our programs. Yeah, I mean, in our Hit Dynamics program, you know, the premise is creating better athleticism with our baseball athletes that translates into higher velocity movements which then transfers into harder hit balls more hits greater distance more hits so forth and so on so yeah velocity is a key component to what we're trying to do in the hit dynamics program and how it manifests itself in the success of uh, baseball athletes you know, over the years that you and I have been working in our HIT Dynamics program and really building this program into all the aspects that we like to, to really our family tree in the HIT Dynamics, velocity, we've found that velocity is a probably the most important and the main ingredient in the success of our hitters when they're, you know, moving or getting evaluated or improving we found that velocity is a reading that allows the kids, the players, our students, our professionals to really get to the next level. And what we do in this program and and the drills and the, the measurables that we use allows this one thing, velocity, to stand out and really show the player, the parent, the coach, whoever is looking at these numbers, how much the player is improving. Yeah, and it's, and it's quite simple. If you, if you look at it from this standpoint, if you're more athletic, if you're more powerful, if you're more coordinated, then you're going to have greater bat speed, hand speed, which translates into bat speed. You're gonna have greater uh, hip and rotation uh, force speeds. And so that's going to translate into better bat speed, which translates into better or higher exit velocities, right. which transfer, which exit velocities are now correlating with distance and successful hits. Absolutely. So it, it all ties together. And I don't know if athletes and parents really understand that correlation and how it works and that's one of the things we want to illustrate today and the importance of, of building that because I think a lot of athletes will err on the power side and just say, hey, I got to get stronger, I got to get stronger, I got to get stronger. But if you're moving that body faster, then the bat's moving faster, right? which then means that bat is coming through with more force because it's moving faster. right? And when it makes contact, now the ball moves with more force and more velocity. Right. It's an element that people aren't specifically understanding the term velocity. As you stated, and I think you say some things that are really, really important. One is that the athleticism of an athlete to move their body faster allows them to move the bat faster. And it's a coordinated athlete. And if you translate that and hit the ball in the barrel, then you get this velocity. The velocity leads to all these hits. The velocity leads to this distance. Those things are key components and measurables to get this athlete where they need to be. I think most people are chasing this launch angle thing and they chase distance. If you don't have the velocity, it's not gonna matter. You can launch the ball at X amount degrees, but you're not swinging at a great velocity, it's not gonna go as far. So velocity is the key element here in order to get that athlete to where they need. One, I wanna hit for a higher average, I hit the ball faster. Mm -hmm. Velocity goes faster, infielders, outfielders can't get to it. That leads to great things on base percentage. It leads to more extra base hits. It leads to home runs. It leads to a lot of things that are positive for the hitters. The velocity term, crucial for and, the athlete. And it would, it would appear to me that a faster body allows you to make better decisions or gives you more time to make better mm-hmm. decisions or to make adjustments. 
and in your pitch selection. So absolutely, and part of our Hit Dynamic program, when we talk about velocity, and, it, and you know, we have these branches in Hit Dynamics, whether it's tracking the baseball, you know, seeing the ball, all of that. Um, that helps you to recognize the pitch, adjust to the pitch. Now the body's moving faster because we react better, we see it better. The athlete can make a quicker adjustment and they'll get that velocity that they need in order to hit the ball hard. I think that's important because as, as Pete Rose said, Aaron, see ball, hit ball. <laughs> but if the players aren't reacting correctly, in part of our hit dynamics program, when we talk about this velocity component, is about seeing that ball, recognizing that ball, getting ready to hit. We talk about other elements too, but if they don't have that athleticism and understand ball recognition, then the velocity thing, it, it, it just, it, it, it helps it. It helps it so much. So uh, I think that's an important thing that uh, gets lost in translation. Good stuff, EJ, good stuff. So how can an athlete get those sorts of measurements on velocity, on, velocity right. on their own, in the garage, in their backyard? It's simple, you get a T, you get a net, and there's so many uh, devices out there now in the marketplace to do that. And you set up a T, you get your device in two places, one from behind the net, and then one behind the T, and you see if the readings are very accurate that way. And that gives you the best way to kind of measure uh, the velocity that you're you're hitting at. Uh, there's also other devices out there that you know you put on your bat and stuff like that to give you uh, the ability to do that. But I think that's simple for a kid. Any kid at any age can do that, and it's not expensive. A lot of kids right now can, I mean, have tees, and a tee doesn't have to be the most expensive thing. And these devices don't have to be the most um, expensive things. They just need to be consistent. Right. Is that, that the key just, word? Exactly. That's they what I was just going to say. Be well, the setup needs to be consistent. Right. Because this way you can compare apples to apples, each workout to each workout. And I think that's important. And now, once you're consistent, you can also you also want to start to track what you're doing. So keeping a, a, a small journal, uh, maybe some of these devices might have that that uh, ability internally, mm. but if not, uh, a notepad where you're just writing down the date right. and you're tracking your bat speed and your, and your, your velocity. Your velocity. Right? Um, mm -hmm. So I think that's a great way, way to go. And Aaron, and, and just talk about tracking too. You're tracking your velocity here. Mm -hmm. And that should be done over what a month to eight week period you know how do you you know you're the professional at tracking and getting yeah. measurables and stuff like that do you recommend that yeah I, I, an athlete needs to know where he's at and where he wants to be and what's going what's happening through that process and the only way you can do that is tracking okay. otherwise you're just haphazardly kind of going about it and hoping for the right result and through tracking you might find that different things that you might have done, whether it's changing hand position or foot position, might affect your velocity. Oh, and now okay. you get that feedback where you say, hey, you know what? Well, you know, I, I got behind I got behind my hands a little bit more right. on this and that resulted in this. Right. And now you got those numbers right in front of you to kind of bear that out. And then as you try that more and more, you can start to see, hey, okay, yes, this does work for me or this doesn't work for me. Right. So the tracking is a very important part because you got to remember you don't have a coach there right watching you. The only feedback you have is the device that you're using. Right. But you also want to be aware of any changes that you're doing. And that's why the setup, the consistency of your setup mm. is so important because then you know those the changes are based on what you're doing, not environmental. Uh, Aaron, I think you just really wrapped it up nicely right there with how to go about um, finding that velocity that we all need when we're hitting. A great way to kind of just wrap it up with you know our whole theory behind hardball athletics and our hitting dynamic program is the element of velocity. Again, people, this is Eric Johnson, the brand. And Aaron Thigpen, the source. See you later.